ride to the B with my hopes and my dreams like a boat in the sea. Let it ride from the west to the east. Be the best you can be. Let the rest rest in peace while I try. What's goody fam? You already know who it is. It's Shaka Shine, and I'm coming back at it with another reaction on Shaka Shine Reacts. Today, I got to give a big old shout out to Ema. Their request was Ali Sadiq, and this is Mexican Got On Boots. Now, for the people that have been hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that comment button, y'all know me. I got to give credit when credit's due, and y'all deserve all the credit, so I got to say thank you. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Cannot stress that out enough. With that being said, a lot of y'all still sleeping on my music. I make music and I got a song out every single Friday of 2021. If you want to check out my music, link right underneath the like button. For the people that are waiting on their requests, as you can see, we're getting to every single one of y'all. If I set up it on the list, it's on the list and it's coming up. But you can always skip the line by hitting me with the donation. Links right underneath the like button. And I'll make sure I get your reaction out within 48 hours. Now, as far as Ali Sadiq, um, I've never heard of him. New to me, new to the channel. But the Mexican got on boots. That actually, I feel like that was a meme not too long ago. I never actually caught up with it. So I don't know, really know much about it. So y'all probably going to have to, you know, fill me in on things that I don't know yet. But uh, let's get straight into the reaction. Yo, this is Ali Sadiq, man. And this is Mexican got on boots. Big shout out to my man Sketching Sound. Hey, y'all check this animation out. We about to do it, baby. Ha! Mexican got on boots. Okay, so it looks like this is a full animation. You got to give credit where credit is due. Big skate Sketch Presents. Make sure you give credit, you know what I'm saying? I'll have the link to this video right underneath the like button. So check that out. Make sure you show some love. Let's go. My story is about prison danger, seeing that I look so menacing, you know. And I'm black, so you know it's gonna be about crime. Go with you. <laughs> Let me tell you, prison is a is an odd place because you do not know the rules. No matter how many prison movies you watched and documentaries of locked up, you still don't know the rules of what's gonna happen. So I'm on my way to what they call necessities. Necessities is you know, where you clothes, you get your laundry and all that. So I'm walking to necessities and a dude just walks by and say, Mexican got on boots. I'm like, what the f does that mean? <laughs> Cause it's like, I'm, I've been in prison like the first day. What you mean Mexican got on boots? Everybody got on boots. <laughs> so I thought, dude walked past, Mexican got on boots, Mexican got on boots. So I tell somebody else, Mexican got on boots. <laughs> Dude look down and say, Mexican do have on boots and just take off running. Bye, have a great time. I'm like, was I supposed to run? <laughs> Cause the Mexicans have on boots. So I asked the old dude, I say, hey, Mexican got on boots. He say, all right. They got on boots. I said, what that mean? He said, it's gonna be a riot. I said, you pretty calm about a riot. <laughs> I said, how you know Mexicans got on boots mean it's gonna have a riot? He said, cause Mexicans don't wear boots on the rec yard. I said, okay, what they wear on the rec yard? He said, sneakers, they play handball all the time. And then you look and you see Mexicans over there playing handball, but they got on boots. <laughs> So I'm like, does it still don't comprehend? So I get back to my cell. Okay, I mean, this is about to be better than I thought I already know. Uh, but again, let me know if this is where the memes come from. Put that in, put that in the comments, please. Say, hey, to my celly, I say, you Mexican, what Mexican got on boots mean? He say, that mean we gonna ride. We gonna stab a couple of black guys up. What in the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And I asked this, this, when you're in prison, you ask dumb ass questions. I'm like, does the ride happen in here? <laughs> like in this cell? 
because me and you just finished eating together. What you mad at me about? I don't know. But this is when you learn that you stick with your race in prison, no matter what, you stick with your race. I don't know why I can't have a Mexican friend. He's in my cell. I don't know what's going on, but Mexican got on boots, and I got to figure out what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> and I still don't know. I got to still ask people. Found a black dude. I'm like, yo, so what I do now that Mexican got on boots? He said, you got to find you a knife. I say, I gotta find a knife. Ain't no, you can't have no knife in prison. He said, you just got here, huh? I said, yeah, I just got here. He said, man, look, you gonna need to find a dude named Cece and get you a knife. It's 3,000 people on this unit. How the fuck I'm supposed to find Cece? I don't know. So I'm just walking around. I will say that this animation is making it look, the story even that much better. Gotta give him that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sketch and sound, you're doing a good job, G. It's good. Mix got on boots, CC. <laughs> Mix got on boots, CC. Dude say, hey, you looking for CC? I say, yeah, you must need a knife. I say, yeah. He say, why you need a knife? I say, you ain't hurt. He say, no, I ain't hurt. I've been at work all day. Mexican got on boots. <laughs> he take off running. Why are you running? I take off running after him only because he never told me what CC was. <laughs> I catch him, he say, man, go on the rec yard. CC gonna be on the rec yard. And I'm like, I don't wanna go on the rec yard. I just left the rec yard. That's how I found out Mexican had on boots. <laughs> So I'm sitting on the rec yard, looking around for somebody who may look. Hold on, hold on. I got to see what they just blurped out right there. Oh, uh, no, no, we got to check this out. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Okay, I guess we're not going to. I'll try. So I'm sitting on the rec yard, looking around for somebody who may look like a dude named Cece. So I'm asking, I'm looking, I'm waiting. I say, somebody gonna speak to CC. Got to. Dude walk, what up, CC? I say, that's what I'm looking for right there. <laughs> I see CC, I nod, he nod back. I say, can I come over there? He say, come on, young blood. I get over there. I say, hey, CC, Mexican got on boots. He say, I heard. I say, I need a knife. He say, well, come to my cell. In a couple of minutes, I'm gonna hook you up. I get to the cell. I say, CC, I need a knife. He said, What type of knife? <laughs> I don't know what you got here. He said, What type of knife you looking for? I say, Something sharp, something to poke a motherfucker with. I don't know. <laughs> so he put up a towel. First of all, wait, 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 wait. How did he go? What did he go to jail for or prison for? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. You have to have told a story about that, right? Or people have to know that. So let me know if he's such a, uh, since, since this is such an open topic. Say, hold on, let me show you some knives. And now it's eight knives in front of me. It's like I'm at fucking Macy's. I'm like, yo. I'm like, you know, what kind of knife you want? I said, well, you know, what kind of knife I need for a ride? I ain't never been to ride before. He said, well, you're going to need something where you can stick multiple people and it break off. I say, is that right here on the thing? He say, no, nah, these are personal knives. What kind, of, what you want your knife made out of? I say, there's too many choices, man. <laughs> I just need a knife to protect myself. He say, well, God damn it, listen to me, man. Do you want it made out of wood, plastic, metal, or what? I say, CeCe, listen to me. I don't know, because I've never been to ride before. What's going to protect me? He say, New ass motherfucker. <laughs> like, I feel like it wasn't. I feel like he's putting a good spin on this, but I feel like it was not this funny if this actually happened to him. It's wrong to be just getting to prison. I don't want to be here from the beginning. So calling me new don't mean shit to me. <laughs> 
So I said, so man, what would you suggest? He said, I suggest something personal, like a pin top. But can they, would that sustain with a riot? He said, no, nah, this ain't, that ain't riot knives. That's just personal walk around. I said, Monk, I need a knife for the riot. <laughs> Cause Mexican got on boots. <laughs> I said, man, how much is a personal knife gonna cost me? Two bags of coffee. Come back a little later on the day. I say, cool, CC. So I wait three or four hours. And I knew he was working on my knife because I was down the cell and I heard <laughs> on the ground. I said, yeah, my knife going to be sharp. Because <laughs> I'm hearing it. I'm like, shh, shh, shh. I'm hearing it. I'm like, yeah, Stupid. I can't wait. And I'm practicing in my cell how I'm going to use my knife. <laughs> practicing my sh So then this dude named Mitch say, hey, you getting your knife? I say, yeah, CC working on my knife. He say, man. You need more than that. I say, what I need now? He said, you need to know Mexican got on boots so they can kick you in this fucking shin while you fighting. Boots are made out of metal. So you got to do this. This is Mitch. This is in my cell teaching me. Uh-oh. Is he telling him the phone, uh, phone book method? Let's see. Let's see what he's doing. How to be in a riot. Look, first of all, when you get out there, stay close to the wall. Because motherfuckers going to be trying to stab you. Mm -hmm. I say that's pretty much what a riot is. That's why I'm getting a knife. Okay. <laughs> so he say, you're going to have to do a rock and lean. I said, what the fuck is a rock and lean? Mexicans going to come out there. They going to have their knives. You're going to have to have your shirt off with your knife. And when you do this, you're going to have to rock to see what, what foot the Mexican going to kick you with. I said, this, this is too much. This is too much. <laughs> it's like a choreographed dance. What are you doing? I go back to CC, I say, yo, CC, I gotta go to the rec yard. Look like it's finna get live. I need my knife. He say, man, I just sold your knife. Yeah. What the oh, what? Oh my God. CC, you said it was a personal knife. For me, it costs two bags of coffee. Why it's not personal no more? He say, man, it was personal. Then a dude came in with three bags of coffee, then it made it business. <laughs> I said, so you sold my knife? He said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sold your knife. I said, the ride about to jump off. Hey, man, do what you can do. So moral of the story, how it end up, I fucking get cut. Because I ain't have a fucking knife, and I forgot to rock. I'm out there <laughs> rocking with no knife. <laughs> I'm not getting kicked, but I'm getting cut. I got cut down my side from a Mexican who didn't even have on boots. Stupid. Okay, okay, okay. Ema, hey, I got to give it to you. This was top-notch request right here. To be 100%, I think this might be your best request yet. So, let's go, let's go. Um... Sketch and sound, I can't give you enough credit, man. This was a good uh, animation. You know what I'm saying? I'm messing with it 120%. If you guys are messing with it too, make sure you go and show some love uh, on this channel. I'm gonna have a link right underneath the like button. Make sure you go show some love because this was dope. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to watch some more of these animations and we're gonna have to watch some more Ali Sadiq. It's gonna be dope, man. He He's funny. These sketches are good. I have no complaints. If I was going to give this a grade, I would definitely be giving this a B plus easy. Now, if you're making it this far, you might as well hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that comment button. Let me know your favorite skit from Ali Sadiq and what else you want to see me react to. If you're already doing your chores and making it this far, then I got to say thank you. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Can't stress that out enough. Please don't forget about my music. I got that song out every single Friday of 2021. Links right underneath the like button if you want to check that out. And with all that being said, you know I'll be back at it with another reaction tomorrow.